I've got the OnePlus 7 Pro here today, but the tip I'm going to show you does not require this specific device, and in fact can be used on virtually any Android device out there on the market right now. And it is a, going to be a way to hide the notification or the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen so that you can use alternative navigation gestures on your device for instance say you want to use pie controls and you want to hide that bottom navigation bar this will be the method that you use and again it works on virtually any android device it does not require root access but it does require that you have adb and fastboot tools installed on your computer and it requires you to have your device connected to that computer with USB cable. With that done, you're also going to need to enable USB debugging mode. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, how to, how to enable USB debugging mode, or how to install ADB and Fastboot tools, or anything along those lines, refer to the full tutorial, which I'll have linked in this video description, so that you can get those things installed and get your phone set up so that you can start issuing this, this ADB command and start shrinking and hiding that notification panel or that navigation bar. So once we have USB debugging mode enabled, I recommend you take your device and open up an application that has different colors from for the navigation bar and the content on the screen as you can see we have a gray line here on this oxygen updater app but it'll work for anything this file manager app also has a different color for the no for the navigation bar and that's important because just say if we open up the settings app we don't see that separation so finding the exact value that we need to enter in our adb command is more difficult than if we use something like this. So now that we have this set up, we're, we're going to go ahead and again make sure you have your USB cable connected and then we're going to open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell prompt, or a terminal in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So just as I mentioned, we're going to need to open up our command prompt, again, or Windows PowerShell or Terminal. And if you want, you can go ahead, make sure you're in the same folder that ADB and Fastboot tools are in. And if you want, you can go ahead and execute the command ADB space devices to go ahead and start the ADB service and to make sure that your device is detected. It's not required, but it's just something that most people will do just to check. Make sure that your device is detected properly so that you can issue these, a this, these ADB commands. Once you, your device is properly con connected and it is detected, we're going to type out the command ADB space shell and then we're going to press enter on the keyboard and what this does is this drops us into a command prompt actually on the device that we have connected via the USB cable which is why we have that OnePlus 7 Pro here and that prompt if your device has a different code name then that will be listed there but we still were at this dollar sign prompt and from here we're going to type out this command wm space overscan space 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma and then in the fourth number right here we're going to use a negative number something around the negative 120 and it, it will depend on the device you're using what this number will be and in just a second I will show you how to figure out the perfect number for your device 
once we have entered that WM overscan command, then we just press enter on the keyboard and we are brought back to that same prompt. But if we look at our phone, we notice that the navigation bar is starting to be hidden. So let me go ahead and reset this. You can always reset this back to normal by doing 0000, zero, zero, zero and that will bring back your navigation bar if you ever need it. So let me show you how that looks on the phone when we're doing these types of commands. Alright, so I have zoomed in on the navigation bar of the device I'm currently using. And again, since I did the 000, zero, zero command, it brought the, the navigation bar back. So let me go ahead and type in WM space overscan space zero comma zero comma zero comma negative 120. And I'm gonna have all these commands listed on my full tutorial on my website. So if you want to just copy and paste them from the website, you're more than welcome to do that. So after I've typed out that negative 20 number I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and if you watch the navigation bar will begin to hide I picked number 120 just to show you how to get to that perfect number because it's not going to automatically hide it completely so we're going to press enter now and you can see it has started to hide I don't know if you can see the gray here at the bottom on the camera but I can see that there's still some areas that need to be fixed there so from here, instead of going 120, I could say go 125, negative 125. And I press enter and I see that shrinks. Now if you go way too far, say I did negative 250, now you're gonna see the screen has been moved so far down. So if we go too far, that's going to mess with the applications that we download from the Play Store that replace the navigation bar. For instance, say, Pi Controls. If we go too far down, so something like Pi Controls, the activation area isn't going to be as precise and accurate as if you got this number perfectly right. So let me reset this back to 0000. zero, zero, zero. Boom, you can see the navigation bar comes back. So let's try negative 135. So negative 135, I still see some of the gray bar. I go negative 140, enter. It goes down a little more. I'll go negative 145 and press enter. And now I don't, I can't see any visible gray line there. So now, for the OnePlus 7 Pro in my current resolution DPI settings, display side settings, a negative 145 completely hides the navigation bar on this device. From here, again, I can download things like Pi controls or fluid navigation gestures or MIUI gestures. I mean, there's a bunch of different navigation gesture or navigation bar alternatives from the Play Store. And if you're curious about how you, what you can replace this navigation bar with, be sure to check out the full tutorial that I have written for this as I have, I will link to a post that I've done that shows off the best navigation bar alternatives that we currently have in the Play Store. So again, we can always reset this by doing zero, 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 zero. But for my current setup, a negative 145 is what I need to hide the navigation bar on Android.